Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. In today's video, I'm gonna talk all about Diva Curl products that I've never tried. Well, actually that's not completely true. Some of these products have been used on me at a salon, but I've never used them in my at-home routine. I'm going to give you the scoop on Diva Curl's Believe-In, Frizz-Free Volumizing Foam, the Curl Maker, and the No Comb Detangling Spray. So if you'd like to know more about how these products worked on my hair, just keep watching. The first product I'm going to talk about is the Believe-In. This is the Miracle Curl Plumper, okay? And they have used this on me in the salon before, but I've never used it at home in my normal routine. Now, as someone with fine curls, I'm always on the hunt for a hair thickener. And in the past, I've used something called Sammy Fat Hair. It was a hair thickener. Um, it does contain paraben, so that was my big beef with it. But the texture of itself was a little thicker, almost like a paste. And I always had like this amazing volume. It made me look like um, I had super dense, coarse hair, which I loved. The difference with this is that it is more of like a lightweight gel formula. Um, I don't find them to be exactly the same though. So does this plump curls? Well, compared to what I was using before, not exactly to my liking. You can use this on its own or you can use it in conjunction with your other products. The way I like to use this, or the way I have been using this, is almost as a leave-in conditioner. Um, and then I actually cocktail in either a styling cream or a foam or a gel, and that's how I've been using this. I will say that my curls were shinier, bouncier, and more moisturized, um, but I didn't see this fullness that I thought I was going to see. And I think as a test next time, I will just try it by itself and see if that makes some huge difference or if I notice a major um, increase in volume. Next on the list is the Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. And this is a super lightweight um, mousse style um, product. And I find that this has like really light hold. Um, if you're someone that has extremely fine curls, like even finer than me, you might just love this because it almost feels like you're putting nothing on your hair. I actually used this uh, yesterday in my wash and go and I did the Believe In first along with the Frizz Free volumizing foam and this is my result day two. I feel like I like a little bit more hold, um, but this is really nice for day one. Like it's, it's nice and bouncy and shiny the very first day. And like I said, it's really lightweight, but if you're someone that likes a little bit more hold, you might want to just add in like, um, like a few spritzes of like a spray gel or like a little bit of gel just for hold. The next product I am the most excited about, this is the Curl Maker. It's a curl boosting spray gel. I've used it after washing my hair in my styling routine and I've also used it on dry hair on second, third, fourth day. On wet hair, I still had to cocktail my other products and I really didn't see a huge difference, but on second, third day hair, oh my gosh, this is the business. Specifically for postpartum stretched curls. Now, ever since I got pregnant and even postpartum now, I think it's worse. Um, my roots are like a wave and I don't know if they're gonna revert back. I've heard that this happens. I've heard that they never return. I've heard it gets worse the more kids you have um, and I've heard that it comes back. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen to me, but for now, this is what's been saving my life. And the way I use this is I spray it on my roots and I literally just watch my curls tighten up right here. I feel like I haven't seen this happen in a long time and with a lot of products, so I'm really excited to add this to my regimen. Last on my list is the No Comb Detangling Spray, and I really love this product because it's lightweight and it really does detangle your hair without the use of a comb. My only con with this is that I do feel like I have to spray quite a bit for this to work. And if you're looking for something that's really slippery, I don't find this to be that slippery, but it still does the job. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'd love to hear from all of you if you've tried any Diva Curl products, and especially if you've tried any of the products I mentioned today, let me know down below in the comments your experiences with it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.